Hello again, Brian here with some Brilliance. Today we're going to use Stitch Artist Level 1 to do something that I know you've seen on the internet and wanted to do yourself. Let's click on Stitch Artist's icon and open up an image. Here we have a floor de lis that I drew myself, but you could certainly find one on the internet with a little bit of searching. Try to find one that's royalty free. Click Open to bring it into the design page. Now this might be a little large for what I want to do, so I'm going to select it and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Now I'm going to zoom in, clicking the S, so that's the selected zoom on my keyboard, and I'm going to use the magic wand to quickly generate the shape. Right click to end the magic wand mode. Now here's what I know you've all wanted to do. We're going to zoom in on this area right here. And we're going to insert a point by double clicking on the outline. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. And now we're going to select that point by clicking on it. And we're going to use the control key and click on the opposite point. Now we're going to right click and do a break across. Now I've created two objects which you can see in the design tree. Let's turn off the image so you can see the objects that we're working with. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And if you have essentials, you might want to add some lettering. Let's create some lettering, make it the size we want. And I'm going to want to position it right about there, which means I want to click on this object and move it down, just like that. Now we can click on that and the one above it, go back to Stitch Artist, and set them both as fills. Let's zoom out so we can see what we've got. OK, now just for fun, let's click on these objects using the Control key to select them both. And let's copy them and paste and turn those into running stitches. We'll change the color to highlight what we've done and click off so we can see the result. Now, I'd like to show you what happens when things look like they go wrong and how to fix them. Because not every piece of artwork will generate stitches perfectly, and sometimes a very simple edit is all that's required to fix it. So in this case, I'm going to grab this shape and I'm going to copy it. And we're going to create a new design page just so I can illustrate. And we're going to paste it. And we're going to zoom into it since it's selected. And I'm going to change the property of it to an applique. And whoa, what happened there? This went completely crazy, didn't it? Well, let's zoom in on that area a little bit and see what's going on. It looks like, and in fact it is the case, that there's duplicate points stuffed under there, and they're making things go a little bit crazy. Usually, just deleting a duplicate point and cleaning up the outline will fix things so that they'll be exactly what you want. I hope that you've enjoyed this little lesson, and we'll see you soon for more.